consider a 3 gigahertz processor with a three stage pipeline and stage latencies tau1, tau2 and tau3 such that tau1 is equal to 3 tau2 by 4 and this is equal to 2 tau3. If the longest pipeline stage is split into two pipeline stages of equal latencies, the new frequency is what? Ignoring delays in the pipeline registers. So it is given that it is a three stage pipeline and the pipeline with the longest uh, latency is being split into two pipeline stages. So we have to find out which is that longest stage. It is given frequency is 3 gigahertz. So converting that into hertz. Also it is given tau 1 is equal to 3 upon 4 times tau 2. That means tau 1 is less than tau 2. Also it is given that 3 tau 2 4 is equal to 2 tau 3. That means tau 3 is equal to 3 tau 2 by 8. That means tau 3 is also less than tau 2. That means tau 2 which is the stage 2 is the longest stage and the frequency of this stage is because now the clock frequency of the pipeline has to be equal to the latency of the longest stage that means 1 upon tau t tau 2 that this is the frequency of that stage longest uh, stage and this should be equal to 3 into 10 to the power of minus 9. And now this longest stage which is stage 2 has to be split in two stages. So let us call that stage 2 and stage 2a and each of these stage has equal latency. That means now each of these will have latency tau 2 by 2. So we have now the latency of stage 1 which is tau 1 which is given to us as 3 tau 2 by 4. Latency of stage 2 is tau 2 by 2 and of stage 2a it is again tau 2 by 2 and latency of stage 3 which we had computed earlier this is equal to 3 tau 2 by 8. Now if we see compare all these latencies we see that now the longest latency is of stage 1. It is more than this, this stage 2 stage uh, 2a and stage 3 and this let us call it tau dash which is 3 tau 2 by 4. Now 1 upon tau 2 was we had seen that 1 upon tau 2 is this. So now we have to compute the new frequency which will be 1 upon tau dash. This is tau dash 3 tau 2 by 4. So this will be 1 upon this. So this will be, become 4 by 3 into the frequency of or 1 upon tau 2 which is 3 into 10 to the power of minus 9 and though the new frequency will become 4 gigahertz.